Ho! What's up? I didn't call you a ho. Not intentionally, anyway. What's up, guys? It's Ramsey, and I'm back. Wait, am I back? I'm thinking I'm back. Yes, I am. Why am I back? Well, I just happened to find something I haven't found in so long. Walmart comic packs from Marvel. Wow. So all of the Walmarts that I've been to lately have all been empty. No Walmart packs to be seen. As a matter of fact, that whole aisle, they moved the Pokemon cards to the electronics aisle, locked them behind a thing, and then all of a sudden, done. No sports cards, no comics, no magic cards. Well, all of a sudden, all of that was back before they had some like, I don't know, like chile that you put on some little puffed, uh, like wheat things. You know, it's a, a Mexican delicacy. So anyway, but they had that whole thing full for I don't know how many months. I don't know if they ran out or what. And they're like, hey, let's put the cards back. Whatever the case may be, I found some. It's great to be back, guys. And yes, I'm thinking I'm back. Your first video back and it's all full of dust. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that's so rude of me. All right, guys, so what did we get? So um, there's three Guardians of the Galaxy packs. I wonder if the same thing are in each one. There was some of these that were open. There was one like this one that wasn't Ewoks. It was Jabba. Uh, had, a, I think, a, a photo of, uh, of Jabba the Hutt on the cover. It was already busted open. Uh, there was uh, some Spider-Man comics loose in there. Anyway, two Ewoks ones. One Planet of the Apes one, which the, I, I love this cover. Uh, and then one uh, uh, Shadow Clones, uh, Spider-Gun Shadow Clones. There was a, a bunch of opened ones in there, so apparently somebody beat me to them. Uh, let's start with Guardians, since it just came out in theaters uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy logo on the back, which says it is an exclusive Power Man, and this is um, kind of made to look like the... Uh, the Marvel cards, I think it was the second edition uh, Marvel cards that had kind of a similar cover like this. So I guess that's uh, Luke Cage's son, or did he grow his hair out? Thunderbolts variant edition, there we go, there's a Thunderbolts logo. Timely Comics presents All Out Avengers number three. Uh, that doesn't look like anything interesting to me. Uh, I guess I'll let you know here somewhere uh, if it's worth uh, anything or not. All right, let's open the next one. I wonder, it'd probably be a a huge disappointment if it was the same issues in all of them, but uh, we'll find out. All right, so Guardians again, Moon Knight 15. This one's a, a little damaged there, really damaged in the corner over there. Oh, that looks pretty cool. The art inside looks really, really cool. Thin lines, I don't know, kind of J. Lee-ish. I'll check it out. Ah, another Timely Presents All Out Avengers. You can tell I'm very excited uh, for that one. They throw the Timely Comics on there just because that used to be Marvel's name uh, back in the day, uh, Atlas and Timely, but um, uh, just as an excuse to sell you another cover. Let's see what's in this one. Hulk number nine, Miracle Man variant. I doubt Miracle Man came out in here, but um, maybe it's his like, I don't know, 30th, 20th, 50th anniversary. I wonder if it's a, no, it's definitely not a ratio of it's got Miracle Man on there. Predator, number one, second printing. That looks like a really cool detailed cover. Salvador La Roca, it looks like um, by that signature, but check it out. Damn. Okay, he's got like a, a Predator mask, but he's a human. That's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, that one was a bust. Let's try uh, Spider-Gwen. Let's see. So Spider-Gwen, Shadow Clones, obviously a Walmart exclusive cover. I wonder if anything cool happens in here. Whatever. Gambit number three. Look, more manga. They're really embracing uh, the manga lately. I remember when I tried out uh, for Marvel, I, I did samples and took them to Wizard World and met with uh, an X-Men editor. At the time, uh, he said my work was too manga-y. And who knew that was in 1999 and well uh, here we are 20 some years later and that's the that's all the rage um zero war number two marvel x fortnite uh second printing i saw one of these loose in the box uh as well all right all right so uh 
pretty crappy. I don't think we've gotten any ratios yet. I wonder if they even still put in ratios. Um, back when uh, Diamond was doing Marvel stuff, they would throw ratios into these packs. Um, now that Penguin Random House owns the Marvel um, distribution, I don't know if uh, that's still the case. So this is a variant edition. It says, in association with Marvel and 20th Century uh, Studios, which uh, Disney now owns. That used to be 20th, 20th Century Fox. Cool artwork inside. Pretty cool. Definitely going to read that. Oh, what the f... Okay. Well, I guess they got a little lazy there and gave me a second one. All right. So what is this? Demon War, Shield of Justice, Dragota. Cool. I think he did uh, FF for a while. Uh, that looks very anime again you see editor I was ahead of my time you stupid could have hired me on X-Men anyway after that I gave up they told me to go stand in the Archie line and I didn't want to go watch go uh, draw Archie I probably should have I could have probably uh, anyway. that weekend was full of disappointment at Wizard World uh, I guess it was 99 uh, over in uh, Chicago or was that uh, wizard I don't know was it I don't know I don't remember anymore who cares uh, Star Wars Ewoks number one tales of friendship horror and triumph with the Ewoks wow I wonder who wow that artwork is awesome oh so I guess it's a bunch of different tales in there um, I wonder who the target audience for this is wow Oh wow! Okay, that's pretty cool. Wow! Against where? Oh, ah, is he eat? Did he eat? Oh man, he ate a damn Ewok. That is uh, truly horrific. In the beginning, Lee Garab and uh, Java Tartal Tartaglia stories around the campfire sequence. Um, Paulina Ganu Cheo, a uh, Wokeling's tale. Kyle Hotz, Hotz, I don't know how to pronounce your last name despite you being a friend of mine on Facebook. Uh, obviously an amazing, phenomenal artist, easily recognizable. Uh, I think I had asked him to come to my Comic Con and he's like, man, I gotta turn in these pages, I don't think I can. Something about a uh, top secret Star Wars project. Really amazing artwork, you've I'm sure seen his covers before. Uh, Immortal X-Men. Number three, bonus digital edition details inside. Uh, okay. Uh, and here's a Star Wars Dr. Aphra number 25 variant edition. Is this a an incentive? Uh, it's a Greg Land cover? Yeah, Greg Land. I don't know if it is, but I will let you know right here. So another Ewok one. Uh, our last one from the fresh packs that I just found last night. I mean, this could be something they had on the back and just put out. Um, I really honestly don't know. I've been concentrating on uh, my conventions, putting on the conventions that I do. And I have a, a, an awesome uh, manager named Roy who is uh, running the stores for me. And I got some news on that front too that I want to share with you guys. So another Ewoks uh, uh, photo cover, uh, Walmart exclusive. Iron Cat number five. And it looks like... Uh, uh, Hulkbuster armor uh, crushing two other Iron Man armors. Okay, and then another yay Zero war. So there you have it. Um, I essentially got um, a whole bunch of dollar comics that I can sell in my store uh, Anyway, are Marvel packs worth it anymore? I don't think so uh, Definitely not a good investment, but that's why we do this So how else would you guys know if there's something worth it in there? Somebody's got to take it in the beep beep, you know, and I guess this time it was me. All right, guys, so now uh, an announcement. A lot of my collection is going to go up on my website. So if you, uh, some of you might not know, I own Kaboom Comics and Collectibles uh, in South Texas. And so we're working on our website right now. It's called kaboomcomics.net. We're gonna relaunch it. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of my slabs and uh, some of my, uh, I guess, raw comics and stuff that we're gonna put on there. A lot of keys, a lot of things like that. I have too much, too much stuff. I think uh, I'm up to uh, almost 30 
uh, those those black plastic BCW CGC boxes, and uh, and this is just in my personal collection. I, I went I went crazy. I went crazy, guys, uh, buying stuff. And uh, then I have um, almost a hundred short boxes, something like that, of a lot of things that are key. Some of them aren't ripe yet. You know, uh, a lot of stuff is spec stuff that I have put away that I was hoping eventually would um, be worth something. And a lot of it I forgot about and I'm finding it. I was like, wow, I should have sold it six months ago, a year ago, two years ago. And I forgot I was specking on it. So anyway, that's what happens when you hoard stuff, when, when you collect stuff. And uh, so anyway, so we're going to be putting all of that uh, on kaboomcomics.net pretty soon. So definitely... Uh, check out the website uh, and you know I'll uh, uh, probably alert you guys and and let you know when I'm putting up more slabs on there I have a ton of keys uh, if you ever want to see them if you do want to see what I have in my collection uh, not all of it's for sale some of it is, is stuff that you know some of my grails that, that I've always wanted uh, but a lot of it is so if you do want to see that let me know in the comments below again thank you so much for checking out my channel uh, yes I'm back and hopefully with more content coming soon. Later. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, people, let's do this one more time. My name is Ramsey. I'm a comic store owner. I organize conventions. I'm in a band, and I'm a lifelong pop culture fan. And I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by it every day of my life. Welcome to Ramsey vs. Comics.